what she puts on can translate her into anything she wants. Because as people see her coming down the street, she can look, she can look anything. She can even get arrested. But, you know, I mean, clothes are, are so fabulous. How does a person about to depart from their homeland appear? In a movie, they might seem teary-eyed, perhaps with a solemn expression. In any case, the focus is invariably on the facial expressions. Now, take a look at this girl who is about to leave her native Ireland for the United States. If you observe closely enough, you'll notice that she has adorned herself in the colors of the Irish flag. However, as she eventually assimilates into a foreign land, losing the pangs of homesickness, the hues dominating her attire transform into the red and white stripes of the American flag. This illustrates the role of clothing in movies, it exists not only for aesthetic appeal or to meet the most basic requirement of fitting the period, but serves a deeper purpose. If you still remember Taylor's true identity in the International Club, then you will understand why he always wears a red jacket that sharply contrasts with the overall color scheme of the surroundings. His personalized attire not only highlights his rebellious and avant-garde personality, contrasting with the traditional society, but also, through the comparison with the protagonist's clothing, accentuates the changes and inner conflicts of the protagonist in the story. In the movie Little Miss Sunshine, the older brother in the Hoover family, Dwayne Hoover, is a quiet teenager with aspirations of becoming a pilot. However, when he expresses his dream in the film, his family informs him that he is colorblind. In the film, the mother and sister are seated on either side of the older brother, dressed in red and green, respectively. This design cleverly emphasizes the theme of the older brother's colorblindness. Through this contrast of colors, the audience more intuitively feels the challenge the older brother faces in distinguishing between red and green. Simultaneously, this design visually highlights the personalities and issues of different family members, placing the older brother at the core of family relationships. The costumes in Black Swan are extremely contrasting in terms of color, with a prominent visual theme of the interplay between deep and light shades of white and black. The lead dancer, who portrays the white swan, is the ideal choice, and everything around her is predominantly white and pink. Gray attire plays a crucial role in Nina's transformation throughout the film. At the beginning, Nina's mother, dressed in black, personally dresses her in a gray outfit. The guidance of the dance director propels Nina's transformation, and the intermediate state of this transformation is represented by the gray dance costume worn over the white. In the film Emma, costumes play a crucial role in shaping character images and highlighting the features of the era through clever design. The attire not only reflects the character's social status and identity within the societal hierarchy, but also emphasizes the nobility of the protagonist, Emma, in contrast to the economic conditions of other characters. Simultaneously, through personalized design, the costumes highlight the distinctive personality traits of each character. Furthermore, the costumes successfully recreate the fashion trends of early 19th century England, presenting a realistic and specific historical backdrop to the audience through the use of exquisite fabrics, tailoring, and accessories. Overall, the costume design in the film conveys both the social identity and individual personalities of the characters, successfully recreating the fashionable atmosphere of the era and enriching the audience's understanding of the characters and the story's background. In the movie Dying to Survive, the iconic solitary driving scene occurs three times. The first time, the male protagonist wears a hat and sunglasses, attempting to envelop himself as much as possible. In the second instance, the hat is gone, leaving only the sunglasses. The third time, both the hat and sunglasses are absent, and the protagonist exposes his most delicate emotions to the audience. This represents the process of an awkward and reserved person gradually unveiling their innermost feelings, a simple, direct, yet intricately detailed progression. Renowned costume designer Deborah Nadolman has expressed that many young directors with formal film education are oblivious to the functions of the costume department. In their eyes, costume designers and tailors are often lumped together with little distinction. Elements of a film beyond the plot and performances silently influence our perceptions. They lurk behind the story, unspoken yet impactful. It is precisely because of this silent influence that these elements are often overlooked. 
Certainly, there are no absolute necessities in filmmaking, but without the subtle richness that often goes unnoticed, the art of filmmaking loses its completeness.